Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. This is our new section, uh, lighting and shading in Maya. In this section, we are going to uh, start with the tutorial how to create an eyeball of uh, in Maya. So, <coughs> uh, for creating the eyeball, uh, first of all, we would like to uh, say that uh, um, this is not the photorealistic eyeballs. This is semi-realistic, or uh, maybe you can say it's a bit of kind of a cartoon eyeball. Uh, uh, this uh, technique you can use uh, whenever you your budget is something low, or you can create a really fast eyeballs uh, for a long shot, maybe, or that kind of uh, situations. But I definitely strongly recommend that uh, <coughs> uh, if you uh, want any kind of detail. Uh, eye shaders or something uh, you should use the unwrap technique and uh, uh, use any kind of painting methods uh, like Photoshop or, or any kind of painting softwares for creating those uh, photorealistic eyeballs. <coughs> In this tutorial I'm not going to use any kind of uh, unwrap or I'm not going to use any kind of uh, uh, texture or picture or anything we are simply going to use uh, shading uh, uh, shading techniques or shading parameters to create that uh, uh, eye, eyeball shaders so <clears throat> first of all we'll create a sphere and this will be our eyeball and just hit 5 and we'll rotate this in 90 degree X now if you see any kind of uh, eyeball uh, now uh, uh, we're going to use uh, before before uh, going to uh, creating the textures. Uh, first of all, we'd like to see the how the uh, eyeball look like. So <clears throat> this is a very realistic and close shot of an eyeball. But you can see this is a this is a base people, and this is the outer circle of the people. So <clears throat> the and you'll see the streaks uh, or the eye. Uh, the, uh, nerves or other systems which actually you know uh, happened in this part so there are three parts one is the outer circle you see the blackish circle another one is a uh, central black um, people and there's a streaks uh, which you can create differently and there's another area uh, you can see the blood veins so it's depend on uh, uh, person to person how much uh, blood veins will be red or something or maybe some some people contains a very large amount of, of blood veins over here uh, so that's it uh, this is our reference but on, we are not going to create uh, this kind of a photorealistic uh, shader we are uh, we're going to create uh, maybe semi realistic or maybe uh, you can say it's a kind of, kind of a, a shortcut of a cartoon type uh, eyeball so let's start with <coughs> first of all I'm going to right click and add a material blend and as we said early that we are not going to use any kind of textures or, or anything uh, external or any kind of uh, unwrap or UV, UV methods so just uh, we are going to use the ramp option of uh, Maya <coughs> and uh, in the color uh, in the right side of the color option you can click on the textures uh, click and in the from the textures you can choose ramp and if you hit 6 you'll see that the ramp has been uh, you know pointed out uh, or placed uh, on the sh on the polygon sphere and by the colors we can uh, easily understand that uh, this part is the top one and the back part is the uh, the bottom one so first of all I'd like to change these colors and I can change this to into white and I can push this this one is really another white and I want to create okay so that's the main area I'm going to concern I'll make it a bit larger. Uh, yes. 
fine so that will be our uh, the the people area this this part and so this will be the the blackish part which i'm actually looking for <clears throat> so for that blackish part i have to make it a bit, uh, black completely and within that black we're going to put another color uh, which will be the color of the eyes like you can say blue now, you can see this uh, the uh, the outer part is uh, coming quite nicely uh, yeah if you render you can see this uh, outline as I uh, said this will be not exactly like this this picture references but definitely it's something close to that <clears throat> so I can make it a bit a little bit tighter okay fine or even you can you can you can make it a bit uh, uh, no smoother also it's up to you definitely now after that I'm going to create the central part so for the central part I am create another one which will be black but uh, if you, you can see this uh, it's absolutely diffused one it's actually diffusing to, uh, to the blue so I have go I am I have to tighten that up and I'm going to use another blue and make it prominent okay so if you render you can see this now this is the main uh, this is another part which is the the streaks or the nerves of the eyes for creating those uh, we are going to use <coughs> Uh, in this blue, we are going to use uh, uh, in the selected color. In the blue, we are going to use another texture, which is not again not any kind of an external texture. So we can use uh, uh, noise. Uh, so the moment I use noise, you you see this uh, we we lost the color. We actually lost the color. If you hit render, you can see it's, we lost lost the bluish tone over here. Uh, as uh, as uh, I use noise, noise is a by default black and white uh, texture, 2D texture. It's a procedural map, so it always contains uh, black and white. So <coughs> there's no option in 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 uh, noise attribute to change the colors, and we have to move down to the color balance section. And whereas in the color gain option, you can see it's there there are two options. One is a color gain, and another one is color offset these are the two which is actually responsible for the black and white so I can change this uh, white color to blue which I was actually looking for okay the blue and if I render you see this my my uh, blue has been uh, came back but still the the streaks are not prominent I mean uh, they are like patchy patchy ones so for creating those uh, uh, so kind of a streaks one uh, we have to uh, uh, work on the frequency ratio we have to increase the frequency ratio and after increasing the frequency ratio you can see you can find those uh, sparkles like things uh, even more that and it's kind of it changes ratio a bit and then again okay now these are these are absolutely something like I can say yes there's something coming out yes so so these are the these are the streak like things which I'm actually actually uh, looking for so you can change the blue color to anything like uh, green maybe or yellow or any kind of fantasy color you want to add remember that you have to change the, both the colors one is the the noise textures and another one of another blue actually I have used over here and change it to the green so again if you hit render you'll see this is a perfect one and <clears throat> now you can uh, you can change the black ones into into a different one like I select the green which in which I'm actually put the noise and I can change the black to a, a darker green so that it looks uh, a kind of a familiar or or even even you know you know kind of a, a, a uh, not uh, not this one 
so kind of a, so light light one uh, so it's up to you how much how much uh, uh, deep you want or how much uh, you know tone you want to vary in your in your you know eye uh, nerves so that's the uh, basic part you can increase the um, uh, smoothness by pressing 3 and you can have the mental array uh, for rendering even you can use this through mental array there is no problem in the mental arrays so first of all setting preferences plugin manager I have to uh, switch on the Maya to MR uh, plugin close and if you hit render my software is mental array and hit render and see this is smoothness so it's perfectly uh, you know <coughs> created for uh, you know, cartoon type uh, characters it's, uh, it'll be very easy to use uh, an, a, sh a shading technique so it's fine now <coughs> what you can do for the veins now we are going to work on the veins so for creating veins it's uh, if you hit a uh, software render uh, you'll see this, uh, this, uh, this problem of the smoothness you can use smooth uh, from mesh smooth option just do fine to just reduce the smoothness uh, we don't need that much smooth okay so now if you hit render you'll see it's coming very nicely okay that's it so <clears throat> now uh, what we are going to use uh, we're going to create the veins so for creating the veins uh, um, I'm going to use uh, another procedural map uh, first of all go to blend and uh, go to the color and to the color of the which is actually ramp and you see this a white section or the white color I actually put now in this white color again I am going to put something different which will actually is uh, responsible for creating those veins or represent the veins for so select that uh, white the upper side not the bottom one the upper one so <clears throat> and because that's the back side of the uh, eyeball so I don't want to create the back side uh, so select the front side and in the color again I'm going to use another texture or a procedural map which is uh, marble now marble is something which is actually a con consisting of uh, uh, this kind of ripple kind of uh, you know lines which is actually uh, very <coughs> similar to the uh, color veins I can change the color veins uh, you know the color and actually we can use the IPR render or interactive photorealistic render for uh, for this testing purpose it's perfectly you know I can uh, reduce the vein width as much as I want and also increase the diffuse or decrease the diffuse for the bloodiness of the you know uh, the 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 you know, uh, eyeball even you can use the uh, more uh, diffusion for even uh, you have any kind of infected eyes or any kind of uh, eyes which is actually you know it's like blood or uh, splitting from it or maybe he's uh, the characters got angry or something like that uh, even you can decrease the eye you know uh, and you can uh, you know this much I think uh, is fair enough to uh, match the things and even in the in this this is the parameter which is actually responsible for the <coughs> responsible for the 3d procedural mapping you can uh, change those uh, position and you can have your uh, different kind of uh, uh, eye uh, you know, you know veins veins position you can you can play with that even you can uh, rotate those uh, things and uh, uh, completely change the uh, thing uh, the the veins pattern and uh, that will be I think uh, perfectly uh, match with your eyes so uh, that's it uh, and 
uh, we can see uh, one thing is clear that if you want to change the color of your eyes uh, like uh, I don't want the blue I want I want my I want a kind of a brown color so uh, we can we can have your brown you can have your have your brown or something it's up to you and uh, completely it's up to you and in the in this part you can change ch if you change these these color uh, that won't affect your uh, rendering because uh, this is not the actual uh, color if you hit this uh, you can see you cannot change the color mm, uh, because inside it you have your uh, you know the noise uh, uh, shader uh, sorry uh, noise map which is the most uh, which is responsible for for the for the mm, color of your uh, eyes so that's the brown and that's the thing actually I'm looking for fine it's a little more Okay, fine. It's kind of an orange, not exactly brown. So that's the uh, yeah, <coughs> something like that. I want, or even I can uh, ask for a gray, black, grayish, or any kind of color you want to choose. You can select. For, uh, you can change these two uh, things. One is the uh, color uh, color gain of the noise, and another one is the 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 color of the outer side of the um, central people. So. <coughs> Uh, hope you uh, enjoy the technique and this is a very fast technique uh, you can use this for a really uh, fast uh, uh, eyeballs or something you cannot use these for the details or uh, close shot uh, eyes but uh, that definitely depend upon your budget and also the timings it's uh, completely your choice so thank you very much hope you enjoy the uh, tutorial